Okay, Dennis with House of Arms. Um, the last video that I did that you've seen that I said stay tuned on uh, was all my parts and pieces that I had. Well, here's one of the parts and pieces put together. Um, this is what we're going to call Section P, which is for pistol. Um, we took this MGM 16 and a quarter inch three, uh, 300 blackout and we turned it into a pistol. We have a crusher loop grip on it. We have a four end on it. We've got a four, uh, four power Leopold scope on it. Um, and here is what the bullets look like for that. I don't know if any of you have seen what a 300 blackout looks like. That's a, that's a 223 there, and this is a 300 blackout. That's a 168 grain bullet. So that way you know what they look like. Um, now, let me, let me show you how this grip can work. Uh, Marty did a video, uh, him and Justin did this, and they were shooting 4570 out of this. Now, I'm not going to shoot this because it doesn't kick that bad. So, but it, there's three different ways you can hold this. You can hold it like this, kind of semi-like rifle. You can also hold it like this is the way Marty likes doing it. And this is how he did the video where you lock it and then you, you hold it out like that. Or you can put your hand in the back and hold it two ways like that. And that way you can really get, get this comfortable and really, it, it's really, um, when, when I started, when I told Marty I'd do this video and I bought all this, I had no idea what this grip was gonna do. Um, I told Marty, that I, I, just me, I'm not a pistol guy. I really thought that if I shot an inch and a half or a two inch group, that I was gonna be doing good with this. Well, here's the results of that. Now, one of the things that kind of chambered in on, or kind of played in on the results of this was I got on the internet because I started shooting it and I had accurate 5744, which I thought, you know, most of the time powders don't make a difference. Well, when I started shooting the accurate 5744, I wasn't getting very good accuracy. So I got on the internet, started reading on blogs, and they suggested that you use Hogden uh, H110. So I started using H110 immediately. I started getting tighter groups. And, and any time that I, that I shoot, I'll shoot three, maybe four groups. I don't shoot 10, 15 groups to try to get a, a real tight group. This, what I do, you should be able to do. So that's what's so neat about this. But, but this is the results of the pistol. Now, these are 110 grain VMAX right here. Um, it was 100 yards. I had 18 grains of H110. I shot 19, I shot 18, I shot 17, and you know, I kind of did the half grain thing just to kind of see what, it seemed like 18 was, was the best what I had. But here's three shots right here. And that's .463 out of a pistol at 100 yards. So you alternative guys that want to shoot deers with a pistol, you need to get one of those grips because I, I, I had no idea that that was what kind of accuracy I was going to get. Now that was the 110s. Out of the 168s, I, had shot, I shot a five-shot group. This, these three right here was .611, which, you know, if you want to do the four of them, it was .975. Now, this is the one, 168 ELDs. I had, uh, had 12.5 grains of H110, um, but it, it, it really, and, and the kick out of this, I, I thought when I get to, got to 168s and then the next one's gonna be the 208s, I thought I would've had a lot more recoil, but it, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's, it's really nice. Um, in fact, my wife even shot it and she, it, it didn't bother her any. Now that was with the 168s, here's the 208s. Uh, 208s were really interesting. Um, I shot five different groups and it seemed like that inch and a quarter to inch and a half was about the best I could do. So one night I came out here and, and I shot a .925, which is those three right there. If you add this one in here, these four, it's 1.259. Um, but that was, this was the groups with the pistol. I, I am flat impressed. I had no idea that that grip was gonna give me these kind of groups. I mean, when you can shoot 110s, which you can kill deers with all day long, and you can shoot a .463 group with them. And, and what I did, um, what, I've, what I've figured out in shooting these single shots, these Thompsons, um, what I do is I, I shoot, and then I give it five minutes between that and my next shot. I walk down and check my target so I know where the bullet's at. That way I know where each one of these bullets are hitting. But when you get a three-shot group like that, uh, I mean, that, that's rifle accuracy in my book, and I'm shooting it with a pistol. So I, I, I was just, you know, absolutely blown away. 
Um, but this is the results of the pistol. Uh, I'm going to take it all apart, put, uh, put the rifle scope on it, put a buttstock on it, put a new fore end on it, uh, do some more loading, see what it works out with that. So the next section you're going to see is going to be section R, which will be for a rifle. And then when I get done with that, then I'm going to do one that's going to call, we're going to call section C, which is going to be the conclusion of how everything shot, how everything works. So stay tuned.